Christiana here for Card Player TV for another update of the 2009 World Series of Poker. We've got two more bracelet winners, and the first is event number seven, the $1,500 buy-in Null Hold'em event. Travis Johnson is the first place finisher of the 2,791 that started. Here's what he had to say at the bracelet ceremony. Now, Travis, they were talking about how you satellited in. First of all, tell us a little bit about your poker experience and what you've done so far. Um, no, um, I started playing poker in 2003, kind of along with everybody in this room. You know, the Moneymaker WP, or, uh, World Poker Tour coming out. Uh, started playing 2-4 Limit at Hollywood Park in L.A. My brother-in-law took me for my first time. Uh, since then, moved into No Limit. I you know, played a lot of tournaments. It was funny, I told a guy last night, I haven't made a final table in a poker tournament in like three years. So it's kind of nice to get to a final table, let alone a World Series table. So it's pretty sweet. Um, the week started out kind of strange because I was down about 1,500 in cash games. So I was a little bit down on myself. I thought, well, you know what? I've won satellites in the past. Let's just go do it. Uh, luckily, I was able to win and bought in. Single so. table satellite? Yep, single table. 335 bucks. Two winners. Um, so I was really pleased about that. Bought into this. And... Uh, here we are today. <laughs> How did the tournament go for you in the beginning? Were you nervous and was this your first World Series of Poker event? This was my second event. I played one two years ago. I wasn't real nervous. Um, I hit a huge hand early. I had pocket fours. I raised a guy called. Flop was 737. I bet he called. Uh, Turtles and ace, I believe. Check, check. I hit a four in the river for a full house. I bet he raised. I pushed all in. He called. He had pocket threes. So he had flopped a full house and I rivered a higher full house. Mm -hmm. That put me at about 8,000 in chips pretty early. So I felt really good about that. Um, and I chipped up from there. Um, there was, I had some big suck outs. I had pocket jacks against pocket kings against a really good player. I believe his name was Michael. Um, he, was, he was a sick player. He made some incredible calls. Um, and I got lucky and hit a jack. That was another really huge pot. I cracked kings with queens. So, I mean, there were some pretty incredible beats. But to I get through that kind of field, you have to get lucky a little bit, right? Oh, sure, absolutely. I mean, 2,700 people, it's, that's how many people are in this room right now. It's crazy. You have to give out some bad beats and you know it, it goes both ways mm -hmm. you know I definitely gave some bad beats. I mean you yeah, give it and you take well. it yeah yeah right. and the winner in event number eight the $2,500 buy-in no limit just to seven draw low ball tournament is Phil Ivy he won $90,000 for the top prize but we all know he won much more in bracelet bets this was his sixth bracelet and he was already in another tournament going for his seventh so we didn't get to catch up with him at the bracelet ceremony but congratulations there are two events playing down to a winner today. They're event number 9, the $1,500 buy-in No Limit Hold'em six-handed event, and event number 10, the $2,500 buy-in Half Pot Limit Hold'em Half Pot Limit Omaha Tournament. David Oppenheim and Daniel Granu came in as chip leaders for day two. In event number 12, the $10,000 buy-in mixed event. There are around 120 players left of the 194 that started. The other event that started yesterday that's continuing today is the $2,000 buy-in No Limit Hold'em event. Among those still competing are Phil Hamuth, Scott Montgomery, and Jason Mercier. The two events starting today are a $2,500 buy-in no limit event and a $2,500 buy-in limit hold'em six-handed event. Thanks for tuning in to this update. I'm Chris Starnett for Cardplayer TV.